In this video, I'll show the proper way to display the contents of variables. Okay, let's get started here. So, many of you have probably seen in my other videos where I've used system variables as well as user variables and displayed them on text boxes or on smart shapes and things like that to display information to the end user. And there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. This won't be a long video, but uh, some of you may have tried to copy, uh, simply copy and paste or to type in the name of the system variable. And you may have seen from my other videos that you type in dollar sign, dollar sign, uh, for example, and type in one of the system variables like CP info current slide label dollar sign dollar sign and you know like that that should actually pull the information from this uh, text box right up here so if I type in this is the title of this slide right it should work right because that is stored in this system variable and by putting the dollar signs around it it should display it on screen let's test that out and see what happens so we'll just uh, preview this project and here's the resulting preview as you can see there's a problem there so if you only use um, a big problem. If you only use uh, this label, you lose a lot of the controls of using variables on screen. Let me show you the proper way of doing this. Let me create a new slide. And we'll just highlight the title area there. And rather than typing in the system variable, in this case, for the uh, the current slide label. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to my properties inspector and look down to the character section and you'll see an icon that looks like an X with a couple of square brackets around it. If you press this button, this is going to bring up an insert variable dialog and this is the proper way to insert either a user or system variable. The reason is, is that you can control the number of length, or sorry, the number of characters, the maximum length, in other words, uh, that you're going to use for those variables. So, for example, uh, if I want to use the title uh, of this slide, the slide label itself, that's actually a system variable. And um, you, you can leave it, of course, uh, viewed by all is fine and under variables will be a list of all the system variables for you to choose. A great way to experiment with learning what the different system variables do as well. But let's find that particular one. Let's see, slide label, there it is. Now it's important here that you put the maximum length. It can be any number as long as that number is large enough to ensure that whatever you type in that uh, current slide label is going to fit nicely on your page there. So let's just click OK and we'll give this um, a proper slide label at this point. This is the slide label and we'll just delete that original slide and now we have a proper variable inserted on this page. Let's just do a little preview here. And there it is. This is the slide label. We see the entire contents of the slide label, in this case the variable for slide label, current slide label. And uh, it's a great way to display information uh, that's pulled either from a system variable or a user variable. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.